Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Basics with Brenna. This week I teach you how to get sexy beach waves using acrylic iron. So to start, make sure your iron is preheated. Mine is preheated to 310. If you have finer hair, don't make it as hot. Well, my iron is heating up, I'm gonna use a little bit of heat protectant. My hair parts in the middle, so I'm going to part it all the way back to two sides like this. This side, I'm curling all the way this way, and same with this. I like to curl up to the ears, away from the face, and then depending on the client, I'll kind of switch up directions in the back, but for myself, I like it to go all that way. Make sure your hair is nice and brushed out. I like to start in the back. You can take a little bit bigger sections in the back because you don't really see it, you just want to add a little bit of texture. So I'm kind of clamping it down at the top, sliding it down about three quarters of the way, twisting it up, leaving it for a second, either 10 seconds or until the hair feels hot. Be careful, you might burn yourself. Okay, that feels hot. And now I'm going to untwist it by rotating my iron. And for the ends, I'm just kind of letting the, the iron gently go over it. So it adds a little bit of shape, but not it doesn't make the ends too curly or anything. So clamp, slide, twist. Wait a few seconds. And these curls don't need to be perfect. They're probably gonna suck at first. Just keep practicing, you got this. Okay, clap, slide, twist. I like to take smaller sections as I get towards the front. And if you're having too hard of a time twisting it out like this, slide it down a little more and then you'll be able to twist it down a little easier. This way to curl hair makes the perfect beach wave. It will really help you if you have an iron with a more of a slippery coating. The iron I'm using is from a company called Mint. So my curtain bangs are about this long. I think I'm gonna curl them. Before you brush everything out, make sure it has time to set, aka cool down. It will hold a lot longer if you wait till it's cool to run your fingers through it as opposed to running your fingers through it while it's hot. So the iron I'm using today is one and a quarter inch. I kind of switch between one and a quarter and one inch. I like one inch obviously on shorter hair or if you want your curl to last a little longer. It still makes gorgeous curls, just a little tighter than this. This one makes them pretty loose and is great for really long hair. And don't forget the hairspray. But if your hair is really soft and slippery, make sure you're using a hairspray before you curl. If your hair feels slippery at all, spray a light veil of hairspray over each section that you take, and it's really gonna help to hold your curl throughout the day. I want this section here to be a little more curly, so I'm just gonna go over it again. And I was kind of holding the iron down here, but if I want my curls to be a little more curly, I'm gonna hold the iron more perpendicular as opposed to lower like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the curl out like this, wrap it up this way, and this way I'm gonna get a tighter curl in this section. You see how beautiful it is? Oh, after you take your section, a little more hairspray for each section, okay? Exact same thing that we did on the other side. If you're just starting out, it might be good to go do a couple pieces here and then do a couple pieces on this side. And then as you get to the front, these curls will look so bomb because you've got so much practice in. Okay, it's stuck in there, dang it. Oh no, I'm burning my hair. Slightly tap that and then rotate out. Oh my gosh, these curls are so sexy. Don't be super worried about the size of sections that you're taking. If some are a little bigger than others, no big deal. It'll all kind of brush out and look the same anyway. Don't get too worked up about that. And I'm holding the hair pretty taut. Like I'm kind of pulling on the iron. So the tighter the hair feels along the iron, the tighter your wave is gonna be. Remember homies, don't get discouraged. If you're gonna be curling your short little fringe like this, make sure you really put thought into it. Okay, before you brush it out. My hair is a little greasy, so I'm gonna use a little bit of this spray at the top. Okay, so look, I missed a piece right here or I didn't do a good job curling it, something like that, whatever. So I'm just gonna redo this. Left that guy on a little too long, she stank. Oh my gosh, what is this? I filmed this whole video with a dried chunk of hairspray in my hair. Personally, I just like to run my fingers through the curls. You can brush it out. Oh, and then after you might see pieces that you need to fix up. And this will be frustrating at first, but don't worry, you got this. Look at me, I'm doing it with no mirror. 
If you feel like your ends are a little gross or a little frayed or you messed up on them, you can either take your curling iron or even a flat iron if your hair is really textured and kind of just take a section and slowly just go over them. And that'll create a really nice shape and help to control some of those flyaways at the tips of your hair. Okay, so with this side, I kind of just brush out with my fingers so you can see how that looks nice and soft. I'm gonna use a brush to brush out this side so you kind of see the difference. Okay, that's it. And that's how to curl your hair with a curling iron. If you have any questions, if I missed any points, please just comment below. Thanks for watching. See you all next week.